Getting our first look at the dash cam video of the DUI arrest of Atlanta Braves pitcher Derek Lowe. The state patrol arrested him along Peachtree Street last month. A solicitor decided to drop those DUI charges. Channel 2's Richard Elliott is live in the newsroom with more on what the video shows us. Richard. Javita, Derek Lowe's attorney says the DUI and reckless driving charges were dropped, not because of what this video shows, but really what it doesn't show. Take a look at it and decide for yourself. The Georgia State Patrol dash cam video starts with two cars racing down Peachtree Street. It's tough to see what kind of cars they are. Seconds later, the trooper radios in that one is a Camaro, the other an Aston Martin. But the video shows it's a Porsche he pulls over, a Porsche belonging to Atlanta Braves pitcher Derek Lowe. The trooper begins questioning him about the racing. Lowe denies it. See that little thing right there on the camera, on the, on the dash right there in that camera? It's got everything on video. So quit, quit your Quit trying to lie to me. The trooper suspects Lowe has been drinking after an afternoon of golf. Lowe denied that too. Okay, how much you had to drink today? None. Nothing to drink? Just dip in my mouth. Lowe refused a breathalyzer test. Then other troopers question him as well. I don't know what you do for a living, but don't tell me I don't know how to do my job by looking at you and telling me. I know, me we play baseball. And once you say you play baseball, you're, you're already guilty. The trooper administered a field sobriety test, a test he claims Lowe failed. He also reported Lowe's breath smelled of alcohol and that he slurred his words. Minutes later, off camera, Lowe is placed under arrest. All right, turn around and place your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for DUI. And again, a state court solicitor later dropped that DUI charge. By the way, the troopers released the driver of the Camaro without issuing a ticket. In the newsroom, I'm Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News.